um, you're welcome back to our craft series um, where we're making um, lots of lovely craft items for the home in the run-up to Christmas. So this week we're going to try something different. We're going to work with some oil cloth. Um, there's lots of lovely oil cloths out there on the market at the moment and um, lots of different types of oil cloth as well. So pick one that you really like and we're going to make an apron from it and practice with it a little bit on your machine before you start to work with it. But this week, as I say, it's going to be an apron and we're going to make this lovely apron very simple um, but it has two lovely uh, pockets, little applique pockets. So we're going to start with making our pockets and then we'll make our apron and uh, applique our pockets to the apron. We need our, but we need our lining fabric, we need um, our gingham, which is um, the front of our pocket, and we need some vileen just to give us some stabiliser. So iron your vileen to the back of your gingham just like that. I have mine ironed on already. And then um, lay that down and um, get your pocket template. I cut mine out of a cardboard. So just lay that down on your the back of your pocket over the violin and just draw all around it with a pen. I have um, an erasable uh, blue um, fabric marker here. Uh, this blue marker actually, the blue mark washes out with water. I don't need to wash it out here. But it's a handy one to have in your sewing box. Um, my hands are all covered in blue marker. So sure sign I've been spending the last couple of hours sewing. Anyhow, you can see there that I have outlined my pocket with the blue marker. I'm going to take this to the machine. Now in my machine, I have a dark thread in the bobbin. So you could use maybe a black or a navy blue. And I'm going to sew on that outline now. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, if I can get this done as quickly as possible. So I'm literally sewing on that blue line that I marked earlier on. And this will give me an outline. So when I turn my pocket around to the front to put my applique on, I will know exactly where to center it. So here we go. Up to the top. edge so that should be our pocket outlined let's have a look yeah that's exactly what I was looking for I'm not sure if you can pick this up or see it in the camera but you can just see the outline of the pocket there um, on our gingham um, and when I lay that down then I can see exactly where I need to put my applique um, for the applique I'm um, I've just cut out a uh, butterfly um, motif from the oil cloth. So that's what I'm going to use for my applique. You might have something different that you'd like to use for your apron. Um, but uh, the oil cloth, as I said before, is very easy to work with. So to center that, I'm going to actually use some print stick, um, just a little tiny bit of print stick on the back of my oil cloth, just in the center. And this will help me um, to keep it straight. So there's a top and the two sides. I reckon about there just to eyeball it should be okay and hopefully that won't move when I sew it down I'm just going to change, your, a change pocket with your a pocket with your applique shape to the machine and uh, lay it under so I'm literally just going to sew all around the edge straight stitch and that will be enough to keep my applique down so let's have a go with that and remember when you're sewing oil cloth go as slow as you can because if you put a hole in it you'll probably you know you, you can't correct that that's the only thing about the oil cloth that I would say be very careful with really Let's go. Let's go. yeah I think that's turning out all right Now you could also zigzag it down if you wish. Just use a zigzag on your sewing machine. There we are. Move it. And just um, bring your threads to the back. So let's just do that one. That one. And then we'll tie those off. Literally want to just tie a knot. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that looks okay to me. 
So that's the front of our pocket done. Now we need to line that pocket before we put it on our uh, apron. So to do that, get your lining fabric, put it down, and then get your pocket, turn it right, right side down, and then pin it. Pin it. And again, you're going to use that um, sewing line as your guide to make your to sew your pocket. So literally just put your pins all around, take it to the sewing machine and sew all the way around. But don't forget to leave an opening at the side. I've left an opening here so that you can turn it around. So let's um, remove our pins. I have this sewn around already just so that we can um, hurry it up a little bit. And then a cut back to a quarter of an inch. So cut all the way around your pocket. Now I'm just going to leave a wider um, seam there where the opening is. So I've literally just cut back to about a quarter of an inch of my sewing line and now I'm going to turn my pocket out. So um, just get your corners out. Now, that's our pocket. And don't forget to turn under that opening edge. Now, there's no need to sew that because when we're sewing our pocket down onto our apron, we'll be going over that edge there. So that's our pocket. Now, there's lots of different ways you can make your pocket. You can do some embroidery if you wish. Um, you don't have to do anything at all. Just, you know, make a pocket out of a lovely fabric that coordinates with your apron. Um, but that's, that's your pocket. You may so we're going to go ahead and make uh, finish our apron and uh, put our pockets on. So to make up our apron, just follow the uh, instructions and the measurements in the magazine, the Irish Country Living magazine, and um, make a paper template like I have done here and draw out your pockets just like that. It'll give you an idea of where the pockets need to be placed. When you have that done then, lay out your oil cloth Lay your paper template down on the oil cloth. Now at this stage you can draw on your oil cloth, you can draw all around it with a pencil. Um, and then give yourself about a quarter of an inch outside that line. That's what we're going to, because we need a quarter of an inch for our seams. So um, cut out your apron all the way around from the oil cloth using your paper template. Then we can get rid of that to one side. And as I said previously, oil cloth, you know, it's lovely to work with, really. I hadn't started working with oil cloth until quite recently because um, I just wasn't sure how it would work with my machine. But it actually, um, I've worked with a few different types now at this stage and it literally just goes under your machine and you can sew away just like fabric. The only thing to be careful is um, take it nice and handy and go nice and slow because once you make a mark with your needle, that's it. You know, it, it, it won't, it'll, it, it's permanent. So when you have your apron cut from the oil cloth, literally turn under a quarter of an inch seam all the way around, not forgetting to add your neck edge and your two apron ties as you go. And just to show you how simple that is, as I say, fold over your oil cloth about a quarter of an inch, put it under your machine. And you can see here, I don't have any special feet or anything. I'll just put my foot down and away we go. I say don't forget when you're um, uh, doing turning the seam under on your apron to add your apron ties and your neck edge and it's as simple as that so when you have that done then just turn it around to the front and again um, we have our pocket made from earlier just measure in from each side um, measure up from the bottom and lay your pocket down on the apron now you need um, to, to uh, make that secure before you sew all around the edge. So just literally, when you lay your pocket on the apron like that, use some masking tape. You don't want to use pins because they will leave um, a, a hole in your oil cloth. So I just literally use some masking tape like that. Three or four pieces all the way around. 
to be enough then lay that under your machine and starting here sew all the way down to here remove your mask and tape all the way down and again this is where you're going to close that open seam that we had earlier all the way around the edge the whole way around and that will um, secure your apron or your pocket to your project for this so that's our project for this week this week um, our lovely um, apron and there's lots of different things you can make with oil cloth maybe we might get back to this um, another time before the series is over um, because as I say there's some lovely oil cloths out there um, um, in the shops at the moment and it might be just nice to, to try and make something different with it so thanks very much for joining us and we'll see you next week Bye-bye for now. It's fun, I love.